Hey YouTube, it's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels. And you know what? Everybody always asks us about what's a tip for disembarkation. But you know what I thought would be a good idea today? What? Let's talk about what they shouldn't do That's on right. disembarkation day. These are the don'ts of disembarkation. Now, today we're going to talk about the top 10 don'ts of Disembarkation Day. Let's jump right into I it. I know, things that you need to look for before you're walking down the gangway. Now, number one is don't walk off without checking your bill. That's right. And this begins... On right, day one. On day one. So, we always say check your bill daily. Absolutely. We keep a running tally of uh, what we're spending. Um, but the, the, the cruise line will deliver a bill mm -hmm. uh, the night before outside your cabin. And if they haven't, you uh -oh. need to worry. Oh, you that's need to not worry good. because that means you're not going to be able to get off the ship in most cases. Now, the cruise so, lines uh, on the ships have a variety of ways for you to check your bill. Yes. You can uh, check it on the television. Right. Some of them, uh, some of the cruise lines have self-service kiosks. Mm -hmm. Uh, and or you can call uh, guest services. Go to guest services. And they'll give you a copy. But don't wait for disembarkation day. Mm -mm. Don't wait till the last minute or you and, might and be screwed. And then you've got that bill under your door and you're like, I didn't buy this. I didn't eat there. I was charged what? Do you know how long the line is for guest services on disembarkation day? You don't want to be in that line. <laughs> Coming in at number two is... Don't buy photos. Now, we don't mean don't buy photos throughout the cruise. Right. We mean don't wait until the day you disembark the ship to buy those photos. You will either be waiting in a very, very long line to buy them, or in most cases, what we've found is the photo gallery is completely closed right. that day. <laughs> and you don't want to miss out on those great photos that you've taken uh, or have had taken throughout the cruise. Don't hesitate during your cruise, and don't decide when you're about 10 minutes away from leaving, oh, I, you know, Harry, go down. I do want those pictures. <laughs> Coming in number three is don't leave your stuff in the safe. Now, this has been a theme. I saw this on Cruise uh, Chat, know, actually. Uh, shameless plug. We're going to talk about that for a second. <laughs> Frank has uh, a venture called Cruise Chat. It's on Facebook. The link should be flashing on your screen right. right now. But uh, um, go to Facebook, Cruise Check, click to join. We heard that people have been leaving things in their safe or they left them out and they were stolen. I don't know what that is about. I don't know about. what that's about either. I know. Because I find that kind of hard to believe. <clears throat> right. But, um, please check your safe. In most cases, you probably have your a passport in your safe. Maybe you've, you've hopefully you've locked up your medications, mm -hmm. your wallet, whatever, because while you're on board, you really don't need any of this stuff. Your phones, your laptops, yeah. your iPads. Lock it up, but don't forget it. Right. Do not forget it. And coming in at number four is don't end up in your PJs or slippers. Now, what do you mean about <laughs> that, Frank? Because oh, my God. We always joke about this because, you know, the night before. It's almost happened. I know. The night before disembarkation, when you're packing all your clothes, you're in a frenzy. Because normally your luggage has to be outside in the hallway by like 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. for them to come through, pick it up, get it down into the uh, bowels of the ship. <laughs> Uh, I will say, so they can get it uh, into port when the, when the ship docks. But you know what? Don't pack your final outfit of the day. Make sure you leave it out. Because, oh, my God, can you imagine? We've ev seen it. Everybody packing away, and then you get up in the morning, and you... And you got no shirt, no shoes, no underwear. What happens no... if you sleep in the nude? 
<laughs> you got nothing but the ship's bathrobe because they've already taken your luggage and it's already down in cargo of the ship. Then what do you do? What are you walking off down the gangway in, in the in the cruise ship's bathrobe? Now coming in at number five, I frankly think should be number one. Uh oh. And that's don't forget your key card in the cabin on disembarkation day. And why is that, Frank? Because that's the only way you're getting off the ship. Right. They scan your car card so they know who is off the ship. And you know what a pain in the butt it would be to try to find somebody to get you back oh my in God. the First cabin? of all, you're going to probably fight to get an elevator, or you're going to be running <laughs> upstairs or wherever uh, to get back to your cabin. They're probably already in there ripping it apart, trying to clean it, and you're going, oh my God, where did I leave my card? Coming in at number six is don't take the bathrobes or pool towels with you home. <laughs> oh, Lordy, you are so going to be charged for those. <laughs> and they, they ain't cheap. That's right. They know what <clears throat> was in your cabin when you got there, and it is inventoried after you have left. You know, now we don't use the, the pool towels, and inevitably, uh, on this well, I have. I have yeah, I've used them when well, I've gone. Well, good for you when you get to go in, in the a pool. While. No, when, uh, once in a while I'll t go in the pool, or once in a while I'll go in the hot but tub. We were on the uh, this uh, last. Uh, we were on the escape, mm -hmm. and there were three pool towels. You know, one for e you know, twin one bed, for twin guest. bed, and bunk bed. That was three. Right, even okay. though there was only two of us. Only two of us. Nobody went with us. So three towels. So, you know, nor, uh, we always take them and we kind of put them aside, mm -hmm. hide them in a closet somewhere or wherever in a little cubby of a side table. But when we leave on disembarkation, we kind of set up the room the way it was when we got there. And I put the towels back out. There are the three that were there when we got there. Uh, the bathrobe was hanging in the closet or whatever. Well, we didn't have bathrobes. You know, well, you, had to you, ask. you asked. Because I'm entitled. Yeah, but it was back in the closet <laughs> right. when we left. Right. So I know, you know, that uh, don't be charging me. Now coming in at number seven, don't skip breakfast. Now you might be tempted yeah, to do this. You I know, know you're in a hurry or whatnot, but don't skip. You've got a long day yeah. ahead of you traveling, standing in lines. And I know you don't want to fight the buffet. I know we don't. And on this last cruise, you ran up. Right. To the buffet, grab two dishes. I did the Hunger yeah, Games. Yeah, he did fight. the Hunger Games fight. Got some food, and he ran it back uh, to the cabin for me, and we we ate quickly in our cabin. But you really do need sustenance. Right. It is a long day and of getting off the ship, transportation, and then to the airport, and and nobody uh, likes a hangry traveler. Yeah, or or a fainting one. So coming in at number eight is don't linger where <laughs> you shouldn't. I and I've been guilty of this. <laughs> Are you, you a know, lingerer? I know I've been guilty of this. You know, uh, I'll be posting something <laughs> uh, to Facebook so that y'all can see it while we're traveling. Or maybe I'll be messaging Shannon, my sister. Right. Or you know what? You don't want to leave your cabin. You need to get out. Yes. Because the sooner you get out, out, go out, go to the atrium, go, go someplace. Go to a lounge. Go, go some, because they need, you know, they need to get in there. They've got to turn over those cabins because you know what? The next group of people are already in the port waiting. Right. Coming in at number nine is don't opt for self-assist disembarkation if you can't handle your own <laughs> luggage. I know. There isn't somebody there, uh, a butler, to carry your stuff off. Now, self-assist, you you are probably the, the first to get off the ship. Mm -hmm. Self-assist goes pretty early, um, but if you can't handle your luggage, uh, why are you doing it? Right. There's no why, why are you doing that to yourself? I don't get it. Or anybody else. <laughs> I mean, I know you don't want to do the whole crazy of the port terminal to find your luggage, but if you can't handle it, it is what it is. And coming in at number 10 is don't leave transportation plans uh, in the air right. or up to the last minute. Right. Okay. Yeah, we'll worry about people, it when we get off. Some no. people would say, when I say uh, up in the air, they'd say, oh, well, I made my, uh, <laughs> my flight <laughs> no. reservations. We mean not making them at all, meaning getting off the ship, 
you're in the port terminal, and now you're standing there. Going, what am I supposed to do? Because they're throwing you out of the port terminal. You can't hang around the port terminal. No, and that goes back to not lingering. Right. They want you out. Roll out, get out, get out. So you're out on the sidewalk. I mean, New York, Seattle, they threw us out. And so you're out on the sidewalk, and you're going, Oh, I wonder oh, now how. What do I do? Now what do I do? I wonder how I can get to the airport. Uh, who should we call? I'm really not sure. Should we Uber? Oh, we should have got a car. Oh my God! Why didn't we do that bus transfer? Don't wait to the last minute to decide on your transportation uh, plans. Plans. <laughs> Wheels. <laughs> we want to thank everybody for watching today. We hope this helped. We hope this helps you prepare a little bit more for disembarkation of what not to do. That's right. Uh, but until next time, we want to remind you to always travel safe and cruise often.